Hello. In this lesson, we will use ZMAX Optic Studio to design our first lens. The design parameters are given in this table here. The lens will be made of NBK7, a popular material for optical glass. This f2.5 lens will have an effective focal length of 50 millimeters and an angular field of view of 5 degrees. Okay, let's get started. We will first define the system aperture. For that, let's expand aperture, select entrance pupil diameter as our aperture type. From the expression for f number, we can easily calculate entrance pupil diameter to a 20 millimeter for our example. Okay, so let's enter 20 millimeter as its value here. Next, we will define the field. Let's expand this settings and make sure type is selected as angle because we will use this to specify our angular field of view. From the lens specifications, we know the angular field of view is 5 degrees, so let's set y value to 5. Next, we will set the wavelength of light. Visible light is going to be used in the system. For that, let's expand this, go to settings, and select FDC. FDC is visible light. Select preset. Now we can see three different wavelengths are available 0 0.486, 0 0.588, and 0 0.656 microns. Okay, now we will enter data in this lens data editor. It is basically a spreadsheet where you can enter relevant lens design parameters. By default, there are only three surfaces the object, stop, and image surfaces. Any optical system will have at least these three. You can add additional surfaces as needed. You can press the insert button or right click on any surface to add additional surfaces. So as we go down here, we move along the optical axis, starting at the object and ending at the image. And each of the rows contain information regarding that surface. In this example, we will add two additional surfaces. Add surface after, add surface after. And let's name these surfaces stop, front of the lens, rear of the lens. Okay. So the object is at infinity, it simulates parallel rays. Let's place the aperture stop 10 millimeter from the first surface of the lens. We specify lens material as NBK7. Arbitrarily, let's choose the lens thickness to be 5 millimeters. It will be optimized later. Let's see what the lens looks right now. So analyze, cross section. And we will see what the lens looks right now. So let's uncheck this and we will see more rays. Okay, so it doesn't look much like a lens right now because the surfaces are not curved yet. So we will adjust the radius of curvature of this lens to keep the system at f2.5, which is our specified f number. So select here. Next, and we will solve for f number. Set the value to 2.5. Okay, it looks more like a lens now. So we have not yet set uh, the distance to the image plane. So to focus, we will go to the optimization uh, optimize tab and select quick focus tool. So optimize, quick focus. So to focus, uh, we will minimize this uh, radial spot size. So radial spot size and use centroid as the reference. So, okay. Now it looks like a lens. Let's see how the spot looks at the image plane. For this, let's go to the analyze tab. Select rays and spots, standard spot diagram. Okay. 
let's see what the air disk size should be okay 1.572 microns well uh the spot sizes that we are getting are nowhere near the diffraction limited spot size so there's definitely a lot of room to improve the performance which is what we will do next we will briefly touch the optimization tool here you can learn more about this tool and how it can help you optimize your design in the optimization learning plan available on optics academy so we can use this tool to change certain design parameters and optimize the performance of your lens in this example we will vary three parameters the radius and thickness of surface 2 and the thickness of surface 3 so let's set these as variables there's also a keyboard shortcut for this control z see it looks v okay so let's optimize so let's go to optimize optimization wizard uh, we will optimize for the spot size rms and uh, centroid will be the reference we also need to set some boundary constraints so that the lens does not become too large or too small here we have chosen these three values and and when you are when you will design your own system you can uh, you know you can you can play with these values and see what works best for you okay let's press okay as we can see the optimization operands are automatically inserted into the merit function editor the goal of this optimization is to lower this merit function value and uh, it indicates that the design is getting closer to the specification you can find more about merit functions in the optimization learning plan on optics academy okay so now let's close this and choose optimize so let it run for 10 cycles and see if we can lower the value of the merit function start look it went down maybe run a few more cycles going down again getting lower and now you will see it converge at a point uh, at a certain value which indicates the system is close to the specified value it's getting optimized okay now let's go back and see what the system looks like later. see the spot looks much nicer much and in the spot diagram we can see the spot sizes are reduced so you have designed your first lens in optics optic studio and you have uh, optimized your design to make sure the spot sizes are minimized thank you